Hi folks, Cyclops, Cyclops FPV here. Um, I'm just going to do a quick review on uh, some GMB batteries. Um, and uh, at the end of the video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fly um, a brushless quad and uh, I'm going to do a few punch outs and stuff like that and just uh, compare the 350s. Um, on time and on sag and um, we'll we'll see what we can get um, that a standard 300 can do so my my choice of battery um, I know a lot of people won't agree and they won't like these but um, my my preferred choice are these 300 uh, crazy pony batteries um, I'll fly these mainly in high volt and I'll get good times and bad times out of them depending on what KV the motor is and you know uh, state of tune and and whatnot but um, they're, they're all right they've lasted quite long now this is a brushed quad it's uh, got brushed motors on them and uh, this is a brushless quad with brushless motors on them obviously um, now I can usually get about three and a half minutes out of these if I fly these um, quite wildly, um, and you know that's not it's not bad. But I've gone for these batteries now. They're they're three fifty high volt. They're the same C rating as the uh, Crazy Pony, so they're thirty to sixty C, and um, they they go up to four three five volt. And uh, obviously, being a 350, they're going to give you slightly more more time up in the air, but they're also going to um, be slightly heavier. Now, these I'm not sure what these weigh. I can't remember, but they don't weigh much more than the 300s. They're quite light, and uh, they should give me about four minutes, maybe a little bit longer on well what we do is i'm going to take the brushless quad with me because this this is the one that's going to sag the most and um we're going to put the battery in there like so and we're going to go for a fly and we'll see how long we can get out of that i'm i'm sure i can i can top about four minutes four and a half minutes maybe and uh, we're going to do various bits and pieces um, to sag the battery out. Uh, a few punch punch outs and accelerations and stuff like that. You know, we're going to give it a fair old go. And um, yeah, these are a bit loose, very loose in this for some reason. Uh, I haven't flown with these yet, and it's nice and tight in that one. See, they're a bit long. But they don't weigh that much more, you know, um, maybe like a couple of grams. But with brushless motors, it doesn't really matter because you've got the oomph anyway to lift it up. So, yeah, so we're going to give that a go. Um, my other preferred favourite battery as well, and I've run this down to less than 3 volts before, um, is my, my LiPo. Uh, this is 333 milliamps. Uh, this has only got a 25C rating to 50C. Now the funny thing about this battery is, I have topped over 5 minutes on this. Um, I don't know about now because I've, I've used this a few times and I've high voltaged it um, like quite a few times. But this, this is the same length. Now bear in mind this is the 350, this is the uh, 333. Free, free, free. Both high volts, they're exactly the same length. Um, the 300s are marginally smaller and I've even got a 260 which is even even smaller and uh, that that only gives me about oh, I don't know about a couple of minutes maybe although yeah that's that's even that's even smaller then again though, on this I, I have had about 4 minutes out of that as well, but all these batteries are getting old now. So uh, these, these GMBs are brand new. Now I've got a pack of 6 
for £15 on eBay and uh, that that's, sounds like uh, good value to me um, yeah so we're going to check as well to see if the battery gets hot and whether the um, you know whether the motors get hot because they do on this um, I've taken out the uh, motors that I had in there before which were the newbie drone gold and I put a beta FPV uh, 25,000 kV motors in this but I'm going to be changing this back to um, beta FPV 19, 19 and a half thousand kV motors they're also gold so uh, because I'm, these motors get very very hot and the battery gets very very hot I haven't puffed the battery yet but um, well not on this model anyway but I don't really want to run the risk of um, doing that so we're going to we're going to do a fair comparison and run the um, brushless version with this and then you'll see from the video because um, I'm going to do I'm just going to do like a one continuous shot or flight and uh, you'll be able to see at the end of the video how long I flew for um, and we're going to do some various bits and pieces like some freestyle and all that and some racing about all right well that's it um, video um, flight footage at the end of the video I'll catch you in the next one guys thanks for watching bye okay folks so I've charged this to 4.35 volts um, the on-screen display is reading 4.20 I don't know what's going on there but anyway um, nothing too fancy uh, just a little um, bimbo about weather's a bit rubbish uh, and this is my um, hummingbird brushless setup so uh, we're just gonna have a little fly about we're gonna do um, not really fast flying but just sort of average sort of flying just uh you know seeing seeing how, how much these batteries can cope i'm gonna punch it a couple of times just to sort of get the uh battery sagging a little bit but um i already know what the what the voltage was and the time when i came into land so yeah, so it's going all right up until now. It's uh, voltage is reading three point six volts, but it 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 ain't. It's a lot higher than that. But um, the the weight doesn't seem to be affecting the battery. And although like the battery's quite loose in this frame, it's um, it can't go anywhere. It can't slip forward and it can't slip back because of the wires. It's stopping it from going back and the uh, thing on the battery is stopping it from sliding forward and doesn't seem to have any issue considering the battery sticking out the front by by about an inch but I'm doing a bit of slow flying here just to see how it handles I'm gonna try a bit of everything you know just to be fair on the old battery I'm going the reverse way around here it's a bit daunting I'm used to going the other way around but I made it through not trying anything too fancy but uh, yeah it's um, these batteries are quite good I was quite pleased with the result I'm not really punching it too too fast giving it at half throttle there it was very windy when I flew here yesterday and uh, although the wind has calmed down a bit it's still grim but yeah I'm just um, doing some odds and ends it's giving this battery uh, a nice a nice easy time doing flips and rolls and whatnot and a couple of power loops which I do go full throttle on I think 
But it's just an endurance test, really. I know what I'd get out of my normal batteries, the 260s and the 300s. I mean, bearing in mind, these batteries are brand new, so um, they've got to be sort of bed in a little bit. And uh, I might even sort of get a bit more time out of them once they've been cycled a few times. I'd like to have a go on just normal voltage on this and see what it's like. But, yeah, I, I thought I'd try it on high volt. And uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, just bimbling about. But, yeah, we're... We're ready on four minutes, so not bad. As I say, the more usage I get out of this battery, the better it will become. I'm looking at the voltage here, and I'm thinking, well, you know, brand new battery, and it's already on two two fifty volt. So that's it. Anyway, thank.